thank you for watching my video. I just want to share just a little of the man who brought me in or blessed me into the family. This was something that was very near and dear to me because I always knew that my last name stemmed from a slave master. And I knew also that once I got into Africa, I would go on my journey and try to find someone to give me that African name. So I want to introduce you to the man who made that possible. He is a man who lived to 107 years old, passed away last year, and have a long story to tell. But in this brief moment, when I went to go visit him, because he was unable to come to my naming ceremony, of course he's unable to walk and barely can see, but he still can talk and he also can listen. Nice to meet you. He's a man that has been well respected in his family. He has done a lot and been through a lot. And so once Muhammad, the one with the beard that you see in the video, who sits to my right, who made way to make a request knowing after he heard me wanting to have my name changed, he reached out to his granddad. His granddad at that moment in time decided that yes, they can also welcome me into the family and be one like the family. He believes that we are all family, even those who are in the diaspora, who are African descendants, that we should reconnect. And so this conversation goes on and I probably was with him about an hour and it was very moving because to be so kind to bring one in the family and refer to you as a son and also to tell you that this family will accept you and this family will receive you in love that they will take care of me as I even will take care of them which family is a big deal in Africa and so I was very moved during this whole situation where you can see he was sharing a little about the family and I was asking a couple of questions so as I have written for you to see the conversations that are going on I wanted to capture those moments because of the volume was not as good as one would think and where I was but the most intriguing thing about this whole situation in my life when it came to naming me was that this people this family showed their love went out their way wanted to do for wanted to embrace me and that's what they did from the grandfather on down to the youngest I was that new brother, uncle son in the family and I'm greatly appreciated so I hope that you all watch this and especially listen to the question I asked him about where the family is from this man who said Israel this is something that has been passed down for many a years and that's one of the rules of the African family is to pass down to the youth the history of the family
Without this story, it would not be possible for a family to know where they come from. Your uncle, when you are good, you have to take him to, to America. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's a great story for me to hold on to as well as I make this film. And so, here I'm about to ask the question of where the family's from. Um, what all did the yes. grandfather know? So, sit back and enjoy. And much respect. And I say rest in peace to granddad. 107 years old of wisdom that he shared of how to live a long life. Here in America, the Europeans talk about what foods they eat to give them a long life. But in Africa, he said his wisdom he shared was hold on to your tongue. As far as back as he remember, if you speak good things, you will live a long life. If you speak bad things, you will not. The second thing was Egypt area and hold on to your hands. Do not take what is not yours. By taking what is not for you will shorten your life. And I take that literally and metaphorically. And if you take something that's not for you, see, some people can drink, eat certain foods that are f for them, but may, may not be for you. Be careful what you use your hands towards, because it may not be for you. I'm very appreciative, and I'm thankful. God bless to each and every one of you, and I hope you watch the next videos that are coming up will be my, exper uh, my experience in Egypt. I'll try to condense them down about six, seven videos, but this whole eight videos I think I posted, nine videos have been all in Ghana, the Accra area, the Kumasi, Elmina, Cape Coast, Aburi, Atempaku. Now we're going to head over to Egypt. I had a great time to travel down to Egypt not just in one area but the whole country down the nile so sit back enjoy and get ready love peace grand grand and blessings told them that we came from israel okay but the particular tribe, tribe we came from they didn't they tell them. okay okay nice the um many people believe because of the European try to make themselves to be the only ones that come from Israel. And many blacks in America don't believe they came from Israel. The Africans come from Israel. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in my research, I've heard that there were Africans that came from Israel. Mm -hmm. And he would be uh, the first personally to confirm that they came from Israel. Okay. Yeah, research uh, when is his birthday? What year? Okay. He was born on Saturday 
and the year is January 11th. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It will be 106. 106 six, years old. 106 years old. January 11th. Yeah. He's the oldest man I've ever met. The old man said, and my uncle told you when he named you, that if you are somebody, when somebody does you something, you say, forget it. Don't worry. Somebody that hurts you, whether he hurts you or he doesn't hurt you, you say, forget it. I've forgiven you. You keep love. So forgive. Forgive okay. He said, as the uncle said, he said, the old man told them, and he has told us also, that there are two things you have to hold on in your life. One is your tongue, and one is your hands. What do you use your tongue to say, if you use your tongue to say good things, you live long. If you use your tongue to say bad things, you not live long. And then your hands, certain things that are not for you, you should not take it. Make sure your hands, you use it to take things that are for you, things that belong to you. If that thing that belongs to you, don't take it. I thank him for his time, and it's, it's definitely been a blessing to meet him.